Sports Center AM. Bobby Flay is in the house today promoting the new season of Food Network Star debut Sunday, 9, a, or 9 p.m. Eastern on Food Network. Um, I know you're a big sports fan, uh, specifically the New York teams. Of course, yeah. that's where you're from, but also really <clears> big <throat> into horse racing. Um, Tell me about how that kind of came about. I mean, I was very excited. Of yeah. course, the Belmont coming up in a, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And certainly food and sports, they go hand in hand. We talk about it all the time. You've got ballpark food, tailgating, what athletes eat. Um, I'm curious, just kind of your thoughts on this trend that we've seen at a lot of the stadiums and ballparks of kind of elevated food and crazy food. You see, you know, churro dogs or these like two foot long hot dogs kind of thing. How do you feel about that? Are you more into that or you're more of a traditional hot dog and french fries guy when you're at the ballpark? I mean, I'm both. I mean, I'm always... I think it's really sure. cool, too. I want you to settle a Sports Center AM debate because we've talked about this before on the show. <clears throat> if you're just doing a regular hot dog, ketchup or mustard? Uh, mustard. <laughs> Me? Um, <laughs> and uh, finally, what, what's the best food that you would bring to a tailgate? Uh, best that yeah. sounds amazing. Uh, <laughs> well, being that you are on a show that is, you know, searching for the next crop of, of budding young chefs, we, we thought we'd give you a couple of possible candidates. Okay. Um, oh, good. Our ESPN cafeteria, um, our flick chefs, we're going to walk over here. Okay. It's a little bit of a walk, so yeah. we'll, we'll take a walk. Um, we have Michonne Arrington and Don Whitman, and just kind of in recognition of the NBA playoffs, we've got, you know, two of the best teams in the NBA still in action. What is at the top of her list? Appreciate it. A former D3 receiver is trying to get on Bill Belichick's radar, knowing Bill isn't on Twitter. He went old school to try and get his attention, and I'll share that with you coming up at 824. Looking forward to that. You guys mentioned the five. We're going to go to the six now. Starting our top hour with our top stories, the Eastern Conference Finals are now a three-game series. Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan taking over. We're not exaggerating. That no, is how long not. it's been. Going to follow this throughout the morning, including a live report from Foxborough. Just to give you some perspective, it's expected to take uh, the court about six weeks to decide whether or not they're going to grant this. Have the hearing. And then move it forward. And, and Brady still has the opportunity to still eligible to practice with yeah. the team. Yeah, six weeks puts you, in what, end of June? Yes. It's, July? Uh, it just won't end. Summer of fun continuing. It just won't end. All right. For Eastern, we'll have a live report from ESPN Patriots reporter Mike Reese in Foxborough. Let's continue, though, our top hour. There are better sports vibes going on in Boston right now. <laughs> Centered around Fenway Park, Big Poppy. He's 14 years older than the second biggest story of the Red Sox season so far. They both, Jamie, came through yesterday in a big way. Yeah, Jackie Bradley Jr. extended his hit streak to 27, but yesterday the day definitely belonged to Hope. They're the Golden Warriors State Warriors. Right. We'll <laughs> see how this plays right. out, of course. And when we get news yeah. from the NBA this morning, we'll keep you up to yeah. date. And let's just also follow Bruce Bowen, a guy that knows a little thing or two about defense. Sure says he should not be suspended. We're going to get more Bruce's reaction coming up next hour right. here on Sports and R.E.M. Yeah, I remember Bruce in his playing days kicked two guys in the face, like on the court, but that's just because he could jump so high. All right, they're hoping for some of Jamie's optimism in Pittsburgh.